Okay, so some of you expressed an interest on how I got rid of the tan lines in this photo. <clears throat> and let me just say, when you zoom in uh, to, you know, close to pixel level, um, it's not, it's not going to be perfect. Um, I'm going to show you the easy way first, uh, and this is not the way I did it, but you can use the patch tool, which um, the default is the spot healing brush tool, but if you hold down your mouse button over top of that, you'll see the patch tool here. So you take a patch tool and you can see this area, there's a small line here and a small line here. And you can see the skin is lighter there. So one of the things you can do is just kind of, you just want to select a small portion of it and then just move it over here. And that's going to pull that same texture over top and it won't change the, I mean it changes the, uh, the skin color a little bit, but it doesn't, it doesn't do an exact match over what was over there. I don't know, maybe it does. Um, but either way, uh, that's that's the quick and easy way to do it. Um, and you'll notice that tan line is virtually gone. But you also see this shadow below, her, or I guess the bottom of her collarbone uh, is kind of repeated right here. So you know you would want to fix that. Um, and one of the ways to do it uh, would be with the clone stamp. So we can go to the clone stamp and sort of pick one of these areas here and take your opacity up to about 50% and just kind of and that got rid of that. Uh, that tan line is gone. Now there's a, there's a spot right there. She's got some sunburn or something right there that doesn't look too great. Um, there, the tan line's gone. Now there is, it's not perfect. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this, not save it, open back up the original. And show you the way I did it um, on the one you see on Facebook. So what I did on the one on Facebook is I, I selected the um, eyedropper tool. And I went in here beside the tan line and I found an area of skin that had a nice tone. Um, and I just, you know, just click there. And that's automatically going to put that color in down here on my, um, over here. Uh, and then I just select the brush, which uh, keyboard shortcut, shortcut for Photoshop is B. Um, so, Put my opacity about 15%. I think I said 10 in Facebook, but 15 works. And basically, I just paint over. Um, I go over the edge of that line, and I'm just painting. Um, now, typically, you're going to want to do this. I forgot to do this at the beginning, but you're going to want to create a, a copy of a copy of the background layer. That's Control J. Um, and again, you're just going to going to kind of paint that in um, until the Till the tan line disappears. Now you will notice I'm the the skin is smoothing out a lot right here because I'm painting right over top of it. So you know what you can do to sort of fix that is use a low opacity clone stamp um, and just use different areas to sort of get some texture back in there. And this obviously isn't perfect. It doesn't look fantastic. I spent about 30 minutes original photo and this video isn't going to be 30 minutes long so um, but yeah that also got rid of the tan uh, the tan line now there are see there there's a little dark spot there um, take a different tool here there's a little bit of a dark spot here a little bit there and one of the ways I fix that is I do the same thing that I do on their uh, face I use a 50% gray layer um, so layer new layer soft light blend mode fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray um, and then I'm gonna pick the uh, dodge tool 12% so we get rid of those dark spots you can kind of see them disappear. I mean, they're so small that when you're when you're actually looking at the full size photo, you know, you can barely even see, barely even see them. But 
that's that. That's how I got rid of the tan line. And you can see when you're zoomed out, which is how most people are going to view this photo, um, those tan lines are gone. Now this one over here was a little bit harder, took a little bit more work, um, but that's how I did it. Thanks for watching.